Well, this was meant to come out at Halloween. Hello and um, welcome to the Battling Barrow and another terrain making video and continuing the dungeon tile system videos because I'm really enjoying doing these. Um, and in this we are going to make a altar um, that you can use as scatter terrain, has little candles on and a book. And it's dead easy to make so let's get on with it. So for the altar I'm going to cut out two bits of 6mm foam that are an inch and a quarter long and an inch wide. But before I cut them out I'm just going to eyeball in a rough archway. So I want this altar to be have an arch sort of table stand. For the front part of the table it's going to be about a half inch thick piece I'm going to need and about an inch and a half long. And again I'm just going to put an angle on this. Uh, sort of, but this time going from corner to corner, uh, so it's a bit of a long angle, and you'll see this all come together in a moment. These are then cut out, and I'm going to use a hot wire cutter to cut out the uh, curved parts. Once they're cut out, I'm going to use a pen to draw in a sort of stonework pattern into the pieces. Then I'm going to use my uh, texture roller I made to add a bit of texture to them. You could of course use some tin foil or a rock. These will then fit together like this. So the edge of the side pits uh, form the edges of the front longer bit which is why um, the arches look slightly different but when it's all together it all comes together nicely. Whilst I've, I'm holding it together temporarily I can use another bit of 6mm foam to eyeball out the top of the table, the altar. Uh, this needs to be ever so wi slightly wider and longer than the overall bits I have here. This then gets a texturing of its own. I then glued this together using a hot wire um, hot glue gun just for quickness, just it's all held in place and I could start undercoating it straight away. Next this is going to sit on a little plinth base so I'm just going to use chipboard for this and I'm going to eyeball the size which again needs to be slightly bigger than the overall current size. This gets like a flagstone pattern etched into it and it gets a bit of a texture. The altar is going to have a tablecloth on it, so this is just made up out of some tissue paper that is folded into double. I'm just going to uh, roughly put it in place and measure out the size of it so I can cut that out. Apply PVA to the table and put the tissue over it. And then just use some watered down PVA to brush on over the top so you're forming a cloth type shape. You can also uh, get in and manipulate it with your fingers uh, and this all gets a bit messy and sticky but overall you will end up with like a tablecloth sort of look. Whilst that's drying we can make some candles. This is made from little bits of offcut of 6mm foam that I'm just going to sort of shape up to be circular, it doesn't have to be perfect. This next bit is made easier by putting them onto pins to hold them in place and then getting some hot glue and putting on the top and dribbling it down. And whilst the hot glue is still wet, poke a little sliver of foam or something similar into the top to act as the candle wick. The table is undercoated in black, feel free to add Mod Podge if you want, I didn't for this. The candles are also undercoated in black and then given a covering of bleach bone. The stonework at the table is dry brushed in grey, given a dry brush a tan. The candles have their wicks painted black and then they are given a complete wash in this sepia wash. The tablecloth is then painted in this lovely lush vampire red from Coat at Arms. Grey stonework is then given a wash, but whilst it's almost done, I feel the table needs something else. It needs something in the centre of it, so let's make a big religious book for it. So just going to eyeball this, going to make it out of card, so I'm just working out how big it needs to be. Uh, so yeah, this is just some sort of cereal box card or 
backing card that's on uh, from Sprues. I think this is a Reaper Bones Sprue that I'm just using here. I'm going to fold it in half, but not totally. So I want a little bit of a, which I'm going to use my sculpting tool here to get a bit of a binder going on. And then I'm going to use some foam as the pages. So I'm going to put these in place so then I balled it out again. These are then shaped into folded over pages using a knife. I am going to make take some squares of card, cut them into half diagonally, so I end up with four triangles, and these get glued as the sort of corner bits of the book. So these are glued in place onto the card below. The foam pages have uh, some sort of sheet bits scored into them using a sculpting tool uh, to make it look like they're pages and not a solid lump. These are then glued into place into the book. Using a long piece of card cut to a point at one end, I'm going to apply a bookmark, so I'm just going to curve it with my fingers and glue this into place. The book is then undercoated in black and the book itself, uh, the cover of the book itself, is painted in this reddish brown swamp brown from uh, Nostalgia 88. The pages of the book are painted in this bleached bone. The corner bits are painted in coat of arms bright gold. The bookmark is painted in this bright red uh, blood red. And then the whole thing is given a wash in this sepia wash. And now everything is just glued into place. Uh, four candles at the back and the book sort of in the middle on the front. I kind of feel it needs just a little bit extra. So I'm going to come in with this micro pen and just draw in some scribbles as a uh, book writing on it. Feel free to go to town with this, maybe draw some magical religious type symbols on, whatever your world's pantheon is. Here I'm just keeping it very simple and just doing it like this. And with that, our altar is done, so let's have a look at it. After finding the secret door, the party enters a dark chamber. In the far corner is another door, but in the centre of the room is an altar. Upon it, a strange book and unlit candles. <laughs> 